Hello and welcome to Travel Trolls TV. Right, we're outside St Edmund's Cathedral. Yeah. Edmundbury Cathedral, I think they call it. I've just noticed this here. Is that, it's like there's some houses here built within the Abbey. They've used the Abbey ruins and actually built houses where people are living in there. That is really cool. Now behind me here, you've actually got a wolf and St Edmund himself because if you watched the Abbey video, um, there's a story about the wolf and St. Edmund. And this is St. Edmund's church where he was laid to be buried. Now, you've just been telling me, haven't you, that they have these wolves all around. Yeah, all around Bury. I think it's like a wolf trail for the kids. A wolf trail. There's probably 50 or something to find, yeah. Very good. Which is good, yeah. So we're gonna go inside the cathedral itself now now you see this big tower behind me I was just saying where's the Millennium Tower <laughs> because apparently in the year 2000 they started building a big tower and it took them five years to build it 600,000 bricks and I said to Mazzy who lives less than a mile away uh, where's the Millennium Tower I don't know never heard of it, never heard of it. <laughs> and she says is it that over there because that had scaffolding around it for a lot of years Yep, that is it. If you look up closely, you can see it's new bricks. So that tower is, is newly done for the millennium. Let's go have a look inside. So this is a Norman tower and this is right opposite the cathedral. Just reading the sign here. I didn't think it was that old, but it clearly is. You used to go to that school? Yeah, that made them. <laughs> County Upper School. Your old school, yeah? Yeah. And they used to teach you how to do witchcraft and wicker objects for the local church. Yeah. <laughs> Just looking at the cushions in here, of which there are hundreds of them, as you can see, every cushion has a different place name on it. These are all villages in Suffolk, we think. Now this is exciting me, I don't know if this is the actual one but I've just been told by Mazzy that there's a chair in here, you think? I think, but I think that's not it there anyway. No, but you think there might be a chair dedicated to the Queen or something or she sat on one? But these are still quite special, what are these? The prayer desks. I don't know what a prayer desk is really. If it's not for praying at and a desk, then I'm I'll be surprised. They are very nice. But they're all modern. I don't I don't like coming into a church and seeing modern things no. to be honest with you. It's highly decorative. It is highly decorative, it's beautiful. It's one of the most decorative ceilings I've ever seen in a cathedral or church really bright colours it's quite strange it's such an old cathedral yet there's quite a lot of modern things in it you've got children here on school trips all up this aisle you've got displays what children have done like here you've got books and pens ready for the kids to do school projects it's like a mixture of modern and old I've just had to give a little warning to Mazzy not to pass this point because I know what Mazzy's like for touching and feeling things. Um, it says it's alarmed. Now, why would this bit be alarmed? All I can think is that must be a very expensive painting back there. But I don't know anything about it to tell you, I'm sorry. And here you have what they call the Banner of St Edmund. Now it's quite modern, I think 1940s, 1950s, but it just shows you what happened to St Edmund himself. He's got all the arrows in him. Here's the Vikings shooting him with the arrows just before they cut his head off. Very well made. Is this St Edmund? 
Well, I can tell you it must be because if you look, his hands are he's bound. He's bound. I'm guessing this is just before they put him against a tree and he got the arrows in him and then they cut his head off and he died and all that kind of stuff. You're right. I am right. <laughs> Never wrong. fact for you here. Oh, right, okay. You see this here? Yeah. The bishop's throne, yeah. which is beautifully carved, I must point out. But did you know it's also known as a cathedra? It's known as a cathedra. Now, a cathedra is obviously the word mm -hmm. which cathedrals come from. Oh, okay. So, a cathedra is where the name cathedral comes from to name the building that they're in. Oh, that's interesting. That is really interesting and that is a beautiful cathedral. We like these don't we? Yeah. This is the third place I've seen one of these now. One of these moving mirrors so you can see the ceilings better because it's like magnified. So that is the centre of the tower, the Millennium Tower which they've done. And then you've got the various ceilings all around the different parts. And then the most beautiful part is just there, look. So I was just showing this model of the cathedral, and Mazzy was more interested in a Lego, Lego one. There's a Lego one being built here. How many pieces did you say? 36 so? 37,000 so far. Ah, there we are. It says so there. 200,000 when it's finished. That's how many pieces on so far. On so far in Lego, which the public are building as they come in, they put a piece on, and it's going to be two hundred, and the, it's going to be two hundred thousand pieces, and it's taken two years. Did you say so yes. far? Yes, it was very slow at first because the floor took ages because every little dot was somebody giving us a pan. But now that it's started to go upwards, it's growing faster. It's but fantastic. It small, so it takes a long time. People only give us a pan each. Well, come on, I'm gonna have, you're going to have to have a go for a pound. So, so we're going to have to we're going to have to contribute to this cathedral, and Mazzy's going to going to. Okay, there you go, Mazzy. I did not think I was. This tiny little one here. Okay. In the hole there. So every time you come to this cathedral in future, you'll know that it wouldn't have been built properly without me putting that in. Yep, video. you did your bit. Ah, when done, it's going over here. And this is the one just to the uh, the right of the main door. I just uh, if we slot that in there. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. But how do you know it's designed properly? What if you make a mistake? Well, they, they, they send the guy out from the company that designed it for us. Ah, to, to so it. someone's designed it, okay. Yeah, that's right. And they send us uh, detailed instructions and they order the, all the pieces direct from Lego for us. So. And the public can actually buy little mini Lego kits. It's Lego who are actually producing this for the cathedral. It's not just some guy who's designed it. Uh, from inside the church. Apparently they've done this for three other cathedrals and this is the fourth. I think that's brilliant and they're hoping it will be finished in about eight years. And last but not least, the font. Right at the entrance here. Now this was designed by the same guy who did the roof in the new tower, I think. No, it isn't. It's the guy who did the chair, the cathedral, I think. I think he designed this. Very nice. Okay, so that is Bury St Edmund's Cathedral, or Edmund Bury Cathedral. Did you like it? Yeah. One last little fact we've just been told. This was the third biggest building in Europe 
back in its heyday. Now the new tower which they've built for the Millennium is 165 metres tall, which is tall, pretty tall. Apparently the original, it was 400 metres tall. That's how big this cathedral used to be. Um, it's been rebuilt two or three times in the past. But what do you think? Let's give it a mark out of 10. Nine, worth Nine. Coming, yeah. I'll give it an eight. Okay. Um, I'd like to see more of a... I know you can't have a shrine to St Edmund because he's not here. They don't know exactly where he is. But I'd like to see, you know, like a proper statue of him where some way you can lean in front of him because he is, as far as I'm concerned, the patron saint of England still. Your mate, Eddie. My <laughs> mate, Eddie. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Travel Trolls TV. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. I said 400 metres, I might have meant feet. Someone's just corrected me. Either I'm wrong, she's wrong, or we're both wrong. Doesn't really matter. Bye bye.